race in one we have pace setter trained by John Horsfell at Catford in two dark harmony trained by James Fletcher that's the number two dark harmony in three Mino line jet trained by Les Way in four blue ink a wide runner trained by Peter Payne at Romford in five Western return trained by Arthur Hitch at Slough and the one that all eyes are on here at the moment, Skurlog champ himself, trained and owned by Ken Peckham from Feltwell F Ipswich. Well, we're nearly all set now for the uh, special invitation marathon here, and in goes one pace setter. And I can tell you the uh, punters here at Catford, the uh, situation as far as the bookmaking is concerned, they offer seven to four on pace setter, finishing second or beating score low champ. The other betting is uh, six to four dark harmony to finish second or beat uh, score low champ. Menno line jet five to two, blue ink is five to one, Western return fives. But there's no one at the moment uh, that I can see down there taking money for Skurlow Champ. All those bets and the betting uh, that I've given you is for to either beat or finish second to Skurlow Champ. We're all set. Race number 13 in Skurlow Champ's career on a winning streak of 13. Race number 13 for him. Can it be a lucky 13? The hair already on its way. Let's see the break, but don't expect Skurlog to be out there because he doesn't get out there at the uh, start of the race. Ten bends. Here we go. And away they go. And as you can see, he doesn't get a very good start, but the four is the one that's left behind Blue Ink. Into that first bed, and it's Pace Setter who has taken it up, followed by the three dog, Mina Line Jet. But uh, you can see that he's already Skurlog Champs got a very good position right behind the leader as they go around that bend. It's pace setter, but uh, the champ is the one who's following him, and there's the champ down that back straight. Look at that speed, unbelievable speed. Skurlog Champ just went into another gear. He's raced away from pace setter down the straight again, and uh, Skurlog Champ has opened up an eight-length lead over the one-dog pace setter. Mainline Jet trying to put in a challenge, but I don't think there's anyone going to catch this Skurlow champ. Win number 13 is certainly on the cards here. What a dog! The crowd standing in the grandstand surrounding, saluting this great dog. Skurlow champ around that last bend. He's what? He's 10. He's 12 lengths clear up to the line. Skurlow champ wins. It's close for second, but they, they were a long way behind. I would say Amina Line Jet got up there, maybe pace setter, but it didn't matter really, did it? It was only one dog race after the uh, first two bends. The first two bends, he got a break, Skurlow champ. He was in behind pace setter, and from there on, you always were wondering when he was going to take over from pace setter. Down the back straight for the first time, he just went into that top gear, and from then on, it was a procession. He just went away from the others and won it very easily. Well, there was a lot of people said, could it be unlucky 13 or lucky 13? Well, it's been lucky 13 for a great greyhound. We've seen another super run from Skurlow champ.